welcome back to Manor Across the New Horizons. I'm Leah Darling. I shall be see what's going on on our lovely island of Horn Hollow today, where we'll be talking. Well, actually, I'm not exactly sure what I title what the title of this video is going to be, but we're going to be talking about um, Blackpink <laughs> um, because of a concert I went to yesterday. Um, and I'm not sure what the title is going to be because generally I don't like to put um, if there's like a proper noun, I suppose, of like a popular thing. I don't always like to put it directly in the title because I feel like it's misleading. Normally I put games in because, you know, this is like a gaming channel. I feel, I feel like that's fine. But if I say something like a, a movie or something which is very popular, I'm just like, you know, people are going to come here and think I'm like recreating it or something, which is not. This is just a daily vlog where I talk about whatever's in the title. But maybe I will, maybe I won't. I don't know. Anyway, good evening, everyone. Right now in Fawn Hollow, it's 11.42 p.m. on Monday, July 3rd, 2023. So, yeah, um, that's why I was not... That's why you had a pre-recorded episode yesterday, which was a bit of a rare case. And um, it's because there was a concert in london in uk which it, it's actually um a concert which happens every summer and it's like a sort of week-long thing I'd, I, I don't really know the exact days or dates it happens to fall on but um it's a thing where you you know you go to a place called hyde park which is a pretty like big and famous park it's probably maybe one of the most famous parks or maybe the famous most famous park in london um and it's basically just like a, a festival it's a festival of like music and every single day there's a different like headlining act um, I think Take That was on, like, Friday or last Friday or something. I, d I don't remember who else is in it. And uh, I'm not really much of a festival or concert goer myself because, you know, I don't really listen to that much music um, in the first place. All the music I do listen to is quite esoteric, not something which you'd necessarily find in a musical concert or festival. But um, one of my friends, um, she likes Blackpink, and she would just, like, said to a bunch of us let's go see this blackpink in concert and i was like sure because i know blackpink songs um i wouldn't consider myself a blink necessarily but certainly back in um university times i listened to a lot of k-pop to be honest and uh, I, I'm, I'm quite you know easy going when it comes to like lots of things unsurprisingly i i can get down i can like a lot of things to be perfectly honest in k-pop i was like yeah and I, I like them and, and, and i like a lot of different k-pop songs and blackpink were you know one of them um i think blackpink the thing i like most about blackpink is they've got very 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 nice hooks but the hook game is like the best in um well okay i'm not, I'm not actually sure it's the best in the industry let's not go that far i, I feel like you've got to tread carefully when you have a you, start saying things because the k-pop stands can be absolutely vicious um but i don't think any of them are watching this video so we're probably in the safe uh probably in the safe zone and it's not like i'm saying anything bad about blackpink because honestly you know i went there tldr they were amazing we <laughs> were by far and by far and away the best part of that concert that day and they are you know they have a lot of stage charisma they are super engaging it was a magical experience well, maybe not magical but um it was a fantastic experience and yeah it I, I wanted more. I wanted to I wanted to like go to another concert like immediately afterwards. I was like, I'm hyped up. So you know, let's talk about it. Um, so there's a lot of people who are actually performing that day. I don't really know them all over the top of my head. I, I wonder if I can actually find out um, their names. BST. That's, that's the name of a concert. Hyde Park black pink because i had heard of none of them um beforehand but some of them might be popular you you might recognize them because apparently um quite a few of them are like tiktok musical artists or something you or maybe you got their start on tiktok um so sabrina carpenter who turns out i do know kind of i, I recognized her but one of her songs she's sang like the most popular her most popular song i just I have not heard any of her other songs and I've only heard one part of that popular song so I literally only recognise the ending line although to be fair when I heard it in the chorus I was like this sounds really like that song and there's also The Rose which is like a Korean rock group or something they're pretty cool um, there's Katie Baser who I don't think we saw we, we didn't see a lot of the people because it was kind of like the entire day from 2 to and it ended at like 10.30 or something um, um, the, the main reason is because there's a huge, like, they had, like, three different stages, but there's a huge, like, waiting time between, like, different acts. Like, uh, the, the waiting time from Sabrina Carpenter to Blackpink was, like, an hour 30 or something, which is crazy. And um, seeing as we're kind of there for Blackpink and only really Blackpink, it doesn't really matter that much. Um, Rebecca Black was also there, which is kind of cool, you know. And I know early Rebecca Black songs. I don't know any of her like, latest songs or anything like that. I know, obviously, Friday. I know My Moment, and I know Personal of Interest, and I don't know anything past that. <laughs> There's also May Stevens, Peach PRC, who we saw some of Peach PRC's things, and you know I I, I can kind of dig it. It's it, it feels very you know I, I don't know how to describe it because it's not like 
other people the other musical artists weren't modern but like when i listened to peach piassi i was like i can see how this is like i don't actually know she is a tiktok artist or anything or someone who got popular on tiktok but i was like it gives me that sort of vibes and honestly i was kind of digging it um it was mazy <laughs> it's so dumb but the only thing i was thinking during in the entire peach piassi's concert was like i wish she her con i wish her costume slash her backup dancers had a splash of green in like crap fit like I, I understand her her name's peach and thus she probably has a very pink aesthetic with everything but i'm like you know peach has got a bit of green or maybe like a bit of yellow or something i was just like I'm, i want to see a color palette out there you know rather than a color a singular color you know it's more i don't, I don't know it's, i suppose it's more aesthetically visually pleasing but maybe that's just you know it's not really my place to say because i don't know anything about her <laughs> it's also anika bennett sarah queen and spider Again, I don't really know who any of them are, to be perfectly honest, but I think I heard a bit of Katie Basie. I think she was playing when, when we arrived, but still. We had a lot of different stages, yeah. There, there was like a, a rainbow stage, there was a great oak stage, and there was another stage, which I can't remember. I think it was called the Birdcade stage, I didn't even know where that one was, to be honest, where the artists were performing. And honestly, it was a really fun time. Um, the only thing I was thinking about, you know... I, I, you might be sitting and thinking I'm very dismissive, I suppose, about the, the smaller artists, I suppose, who were not headlining, but were, um, well, what's it called when you play before the headliner? I can't remember. But no, I, I, I was thinking the entire time, being like, man, it would be really awesome to, like, be up there, you know, imagine being a musical artist and being able to play, like, in this, you know, in, in, in a concert, you know, the same concert about Blackpink, you know, one of the biggest K-pop groups, I suppose, of this current generation, um, at the same time, I'd be like, that is amazing. You know, that's straight up incredible. Um, there, there was no two ways about it. Okay, so we don't have a shovel anymore, so I, I, I don't really know what we're going to do. Um, like, if I was a musical artist and I, you know, went there and I was just like, oh, you know, there was only like three people. No, okay, maybe not three people. Maybe. There, was, there was a good amount of people watching every single person, I think. You know, we went to Peach PLC, she was on the smaller stage, and there was still like, probably like a hundred something people like actively in like a mosh pit area. And then probably like, probably a couple hundred or something uh, actively in that area maybe not all necessarily actively listening maybe some people were just like eating food or whatever but still that's exciting that's got to be exhilarating it was it the entire the only thing i was basically thinking about throughout the entire thing was like man this must be awesome to like perform on the stage <laughs> maybe that's my um my attention seeking um practices but yeah um so I don't really have much to say of the, the, the preliminary acts except for just like waiting time was huge and maybe I'll tell another story about actually waiting but you know let's focus on Blackpink you know the headlining act if you don't know who they are they are basically one, one of the most popular k-pop girl groups and probably k-pop group full stop I suppose um right now and Blackpink is one which I think is actually very very popular in the west as well you know obviously BTS is probably takes a title I'd imagine out of the k-pop groups currently I don't necessarily know if that's true but that sort of a hunch I get. Blackpink's probably up there, like, second, or I don't, I don't know, third. I don't know who they'd be even after um, right now, to be honest. But they're very, very popular in the West. Um, why? Because I, I think their song has a bit, songs have a bit more of a Western appeal. Certainly because um, some of the earlier K-pop songs before this generation tend to focus a bit more on the cutesy side, right? Which isn't as popular in the West, cutesy aesthetics. Blackpink are very much sort of like, you know, we're cool, we, we sort of do what we want sort of vibes, which is much more popular in the West, I think. And plus for all of the Blackpink songs, they, they, they can be defined by the fact they have a very, very catchy, like, hook or part about it. Maybe not all of them, but the title tracks certainly do. And you might, you know, you might be like you're being rather disparaging to it, you know, looking down on pop. I don't look down on pop in that sense. I think people do look down on pop because, like, oh, it can be derivative, or it can be catchy, and that something. But I'm just like, you know, the point of music isn't necessarily. It's not like every single song needs to be like revolutionary. You don't need to revolutionise the genre of every single song. The the point of music and art in general is, you know, to inspire, to in invoke emotions of any sort, really. Um, Sometimes it can be used for good, sometimes it can be used for bad, but a lot of the times the pockets uh, were pop, it's meant to be feel good, it's meant to be catchy, it's meant to be things which you can, s it's like, it's like comfort food, I suppose. I'm not going to discomfort food for being like, oh, you're not nutritious enough. Well, oh, yeah, okay, but it's not really like, it's not like it's always trying to be nutritious. Um, the Blackpink songs, you know, or a lot of pop songs in general, you know, fall into that category, they're meant to be entertaining, right? That's like the point of entertainment, isn't it? <laughs> I don't, it's not like I listen to a song and be like, whoa, they did like this crazy new pro chord proge progression, or like, whoa, they reinvented pop as a genre. And I wouldn't necessarily say that. Um, again, I'm not also music cr cr critic, and that's a noun, so maybe they do, who really knows, but they are 
really entertaining and by far more the best part they are fantastic performers they are incredibly good performers I, it's, I was engaged from start to finish doing their entire their entire like concert thing and I, I when it finished I was like I want to go buy some like pink merch now I didn't because you know um it was insanely expensive like the only thing I would want to buy would be the light stick which is like a the hammer and I was like oh that's kind of fun but I was like I'm never going to use it so I guess it is just merch but it's also like 80 pound merch or something it was it's really expensive um which is unsurprising because that's you know probably where a lot of the profit margins come in for bands and, and performances but it, but it was great you know blackpink um the, the thing i would say after going to that festival is a festival slash concert is so much better if you know the songs like every time the blackpink song started and it was a, you know i i know like basically all the title tracks of blackpink there were like three songs i didn't know during the set list mainly because they were the new ones from the b-sides of a new from their new like albums or whatever and i you know don't know them that well i know all the title tracks so when it was you know the first chord started playing i was like oh my god it's been by heart or you know one of the first like few notes and i was like oh my god it's all like even the rhythm or even um, like i was guessing like what songs would come in i was like okay we're gonna have it intermission and I didn't, I didn't think they would play their solo songs but they play their solo songs and i was like when we come back from the intermission they're gonna play boom ya and do 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 is gonna definitely be their last song and pink venom is gonna be the first song got all three ding 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 correct <laughs> on all the counts i predicted correctly but yeah and anyway, i got the set list up here you know i did it in preparation so we can i suppose talk about it they didn't play every title track, which is a shame, because they didn't play one of my favourite ones, but um, they, they started off with Pink Venom. I think Pink Venom is sort of like a very definitive Blackpink style, you know, it, it, it kind of sort of exemplifies what I like about the Blackpink songs. It's got one of the, probably the catchiest hook, I think, of all the Blackpink, Blackpink songs. It goes, taste that pink venom, taste that pink venom, taste that pink venom, like that, ba, ba. I mean, it goes, it goes on like that. It's so unbelievably catchy. And it's a also really easy to sing as well which is you know you might not think about that much about pop songs but i think a good thing about pop is it's very sort of all-encompassing you know it's not like necessarily everyone everyone like you know looks at it and be like wow this is my favorite thing ever but it's 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 why it's got wide appeal right you know it's it's a good connector i think between people there's a reason you know you go to karaoke people sing like don't stop believing by journey people sing taylor swift people sing um like with these other generic pop songs is because most people just kind of know them right you know you kind of passively consume them they're very popular i suppose right now the demographic sure but also because you know by design they're meant to be catchy by design they're meant to be generally appealing right and at least that's my take on it and pink venom is a very good one i think how you like that and how you like that's not really my favorite you know how you like that and let's kill this love um i think you know they're, they're, they just they can't follow one from do 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 do's high um which was set and you know they, they, they both felt like yeah or whatever but you know again even the air ones they're still really good to sing like black pink songs are fantastic for concerts you know they're the sort of things that you you're in a crowd you're like thousands of other people you know the song you know that hook you know the chorus or, or whatever's coming up how are you gonna you know stand there with like with the, in, the environment or the atmosphere around you and not go how you like that, 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 that. you like you, you've got to <laughs> and honestly you know I, I consider myself a reasonably introverted person but I, th I think people sometimes get surprised of how much I like you know social things and to a certain degree I don't have a lot of energy I will be honest and I'm very reserved with how I present myself but I like people you know <laughs> you know I like talking to people I like listening to people I like chatting with people um I don't mind clubs and that sort of thing I think clubbing is quite fun like I used to do it when I was in, in university the things I didn't like about clubs is one it was really expensive um to get you know extremely you know drunk i suppose every single night and two i really just can't couldn't hear anything in clubs you know it, it's fun i think to talk to random people in clubs but you just genuinely can't hear anything it's too loud um and i don't like my music that loud so you know maybe i'm like an old grandma in that sense um but yeah um i don't really know where i was going with this so I, honestly i love the, the festival atmosphere you know when everyone's around everyone's singing things it's all great it's fantastic i, I love the vibes even you know if it's not the artist I, I know i don't know any of the songs it's fine you know i still appreciate the performance and i still like i, I like the fact that everyone around me is super hyped but it's so much better when you're also hyped about the song as well isn't it <laughs> Any pretty savage. That was one of the few songs I didn't know. I knew the title. I, I I had never heard it. I genuinely don't remember how it goes, but I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, Kick it was one I've heard. I think part of it, but I also did not recognise it really. So, but those are ones that just like from the newest album. I'm just like, okay, I don't know these songs, but I'm still gonna vibe along with it. I just can't really sing along with it. And then whistle came on, and I was like, oh, I know whistle. Like, but um, we 
da 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 an intermission, like a dance intermission or whatever. And I must say, they got ready really quickly behind the scenes. It was not a very large, dance, long dance intermission. But the, the the changeover point from them being in their costumes to the fact that they um, changed into their own individual outfits was really quick. Um, I guess only they really need like two quick changes for the first person and the last person, but still. It's also another thing I appreciate about K-pop. Is that K-pop is, you know... Well, I do like music by itself, you know, while I do like the focus on music, one thing I do appreciate about K-pop more is the fact that it's more about the entertainment of it as a whole. You know, it's not just the music, it's about the dance performance, it's about the music video, I suppose, it's about the costuming, it's about the effects, it's about, it's all about the things tied together for the performance, right? It's, it's not really K-pop. K-pop isn't really like a music genre, it's more like a performance genre, is probably how I would classify it more, um, from my own personal experience. And that's why I like it. I like seeing the dance... I like seeing the dance moves. I like, you know, seeing the performance tied together. You know, things like that. Um, you know, are all K-pop artists like? You know, there, there are some like really good singers. I'm sure in K-pop, as as well. But you know, are they all like breakout like opera level singers like jaw dropping like talented? You know, Adele's or Sia's or whatever. No, not necessarily. But they're all very good performers. Well, hopefully, <laughs> that's kind of a point of it, isn't it? Um, it's all in some way about engaging the audience, which I suppose at the end of the day is kind of what you're doing. And that's probably why it makes such good concerts, I'd imagine. Um, again, I've had a sample size of one, but I'm just like, wow, I need to get like to more concerts or something. This is really fun. Um, anyway, intermission. Then we had our solo songs. The only one I knew was um, Solo um, by Jenny. And, you know, it was great. <laughs> uh, and then Jisoo's song, Jisoo song came on Flower. And... I really liked it. Like, it was the first time I ever heard it. And I was like, oh, this is, like, really up my alley. <laughs> I don't know what my alley necessarily is, but something about it just, like, clicked. And I was like, yeah, this is, like, I really like this song. Um, then it was Gone and On the Ground by Rosé. And I was like, yeah, this is a nice song as well. I Money by Lisa's, which, you know, she had a great dance number. Um, but the thing, uh, we, we were, like, really off to the side um, for the concert. So we couldn't actually see them on stage very well. Uh, I could sometimes see them, like, if I stood on my tiptoes, I would, like, look over the crowd and see like from, from a distance but they luckily did have like massive screens where you could see what was going on but at the end of like I think it was money I can't remember they shot a load of paper streamers up into the air and because it was so windy um, in the UK uh, all the paper streamers got immediately got like attached to the stage like there was this giant like stage decoration tree and it got all tangled up in the branches and there were like all the st light lighting fixtures got tangled up with branches as well. So, you know, the rest of the concert had like these paper streamers like blowing in front of a giant screen we were watching, which is really funny, I think. It didn't block into the thing, but it was it was just very amusing. Because my initial reaction, instead of being like, wow, paper streamers, was like, oh my God, who's going to clean that up? Like, as soon as they came out, I was like, this is not a good idea. Like, at least the confetti, you know, you can have biodegradable confetti, like it breaks down reasonably quickly, hopefully. I don't know. I, I hope that you would, you would, they would use something environmentally conscious or friendly because I'd, um, I'd be a little bit disappointed, disappointed if they didn't, but, you know. <laughs> when it's tangled all up in the stage lights, I'm just like, oh my God, how, how are you even going to get out of town? <laughs> Anyway, we had another intermission, another dance break, and we came back with Bumbaya, and I was like, I bet we were going to do that. Um, then Love Sick Girls, which is my favourite Blackpink song, um, came on, and you know, I was jamming out to that, playing with fire, uh, another great one to jam along to. Type of Girl, never heard of. I, I didn't even know the title of it, so when it came on, I was like, I have no idea what song this is, but you know, it was nice. Then Shut Down and Tally came on, both from a new album. I heard Tally, because my friend really likes Tally. And leading up to the concert, we were like listening, we, we would like listen to it together on the train or whatever. And he, his favourite one was Tally. And yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. <laughs> and then Do 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 Do, which is of course incredible. You know, a very, very iconic song. And maybe, I don't know if it necessarily is, but it might have been one which really sort of kicked off at popularity in the West. At least that's from what I feel, um, from like the, the feedback from it. And then Forever Young, which I sort of knew, but didn't really know that well. But it felt like a good encore song. Anyway, so basically, long and short of it, it was like, it was a fantastic performance. And immediately after, I was like, yeah, I kind of like, <laughs> it was so dumb. I was like, I want to watch this concert again, despite the fact I can't. It's very much like a, that was it. But it was, it's electrifying, I suppose, to be that sort of thing. I didn't really expect myself to be much of a festival concert person. Like, I've been to concerts you know mostly i've been to like much more classical concerts i suppose and like <laughs> um, i've not really been to like music concerts in that sense because there's not many musical artists i would go to a concert for is a thing um but i have been to music festival before 
once or twice to be honest and I don't really remember but it was when I was much younger I didn't really know what was going on and it was a really nice experience we had like a picnic blanket we were like on this like hilled area so everyone could see the stage and it was it was a huge huge like length of time and there was like food and drinks and I got like this light stick thing I can't remember and, and I liked it then but then you know and you know I obviously hadn't been that was when I was like eight or something I hadn't been to one for ages so you know I was like I'm not really sure if music festivals are my sort of thing you know I, I picture things like Reading Festival or you know whatever and people like rolling around in the mud camping out in tents but it's all dirty and stuff and you I talked about how much I like appreciate cleanliness and being clean and not being dirty so you know you can tell very much i'm just like i'm not sure if that festival would be my sort of thing but this was like a one day thing it wasn't that dirty there wasn't people like rolling around in the mud it was just kind of crowded if anything but it was really fun it, it genuinely was really fun so you know like pink in your area and all that <laughs> um i don't know if you haven't ever listened to a blackpink song go listen to one you, you might like it you might not and, and i suppose it's, that's just kind of how it is you know <laughs> with, with music I'd, probably the majority of you if you do actually go listen to it you'll be like yeah it's fine <laughs> You, you'll you probably be like yeah I can see how people like that but maybe it's not exactly my thing but I still like it that's just life because <laughs> um, it's not like I'm, it's not like I'm like oh I'm, oh, I'm Blackpink I'm, uh, I'm a blink I'm, I'll die for them or anything like that I'm just like yeah I, I like their songs which is kind of how I feel about like most musical artists to be honest there's very few people I'm like oh you know I'm the, the step above I like their songs I really like their songs <laughs> um, but yeah that, that's about it anyway it was a really fun concert and honestly it the, I'm very much like, yeah, if all concerts are like that, if all musical artists have that level of sort of stage presence and performance and extravagance to them, I'm going I'm, I'm to go to more, you know, like festivals and things or concerts. <laughs> Fancy that. Anyway, I'm going to round this episode up here. So if you have been watching, thank you very much. It's been Animal Cross New Horizons. I've been Day Darling. Like, score, and subscription shares greatly appreciated. Twitter, Discord down below. Hope you see each other again. But for now, it's our farewell. So until next time, bye bye for now. Let's figure out what the title is. <laughs>